of wisdom. Come and listen to wisdom words. Words of wisdom. Come and listen to wisdom words. It will help you. It will help you. And then you met the end. You bought a year that's so. And ye, a day in our tears ye. If I need pass some more. Our topic for today's program is: What do you understand by human works? A day in our tears ye. If I need pass some How do you understand human works? Ye di free busumi ni ne mo na ye siya. About a month ago, we've been studying about how God created human beings and how human beings work. But I ain't here when you're uncle Bobo Nipa. I want to say, and yet, send the pound to our better. Now, what day will you uncle Nipa ever come? The purpose for God creating us is that. It is not good for man to live alone. So he created another human being to be with you. For the whole of this month, we've been studying about things concerning human beings. Some people say that human beings are not good. So somebody easily says that for him to eat a human being good, he will buy an animal and treat that animal very good. He has mixed it with all human beings with his sayings. But that's not the way God created it. God created a human being that he should come and be another helper to his fellow human beings. That your fellow human being can help you to sharpen you. It look at Genesis chapter two, verse eighteen. Or so, see, and yet, see, nipa unko abetina. It so, may you bua for a bro. What did nipa know? No, ye nipa. So the word of God in Genesis chapter two, verse eighteen declares that it's not good for a man to live alone. So he created a human being, but when he brought that human being, it was a woman. Look at Proverbs chapter twenty-seven, verse seventeen. Was it only pa? Answer now, be ye ye no. Yes, we are not. I will be on Kuni Penim. Proverbs chapter twenty-seven declares that before a human being can be shopping, you have to be done in the presence of another human being. I just said, "Uni ni pa ene bua ma we are not." It's only another human being who can sharpen you to be sharp. Now, what kind Hebrews? So, what kind Hebrews chapter four, verse twenty-six is what? Bible says, "Ni pa wen tu ma ni na mwa." So the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 26 declares that you cannot enter into the presence of God with your weakness. You need to be bold, to be sharpened, so that when you enter into the presence of God, you'll be able to receive grace, to receive help in time of need. So any human being who doesn't have a, have a helper, you are the most beautiful person on this earth. You will use your weakness to remain wherever you are, just like that. Somebody is not very sharp in riches. Poverty has crushed certain people for them to be very weak. So many things have weakened so many people in life and they have become stagnant. They need their fellow human beings to sharpen them on those areas for them to be able to move forward in life. The purpose for which God created a human being is this. Human beings will be able to help his fellow human beings. 
so that you'll be sharpened and you'll be so sharpened to enter into the presence of God so that you'll be able to receive mercy in the presence of God so that you receive grace in the presence of God so, so that when the time comes for the Lord to help you he will be able to help you and bless you Maybe you didn't hear it right. So you, you didn't hear it right. May say who can Hebrews chapter four? If you read the book of Hebrews chapter number four, verse twenty six, I was say verse twenty six. A radiant some say the word of God declares. Answer and nipa who bet to me a ben yang kupa any mama na me who mobo up we shit I wanna was it just a wooden number ye be and ever before you can enter into the presence of God for God to help you. You have to enter with a certain kind of sharpness. So what me the name you be nyanko pon anyone? If you are able to enter into the presence of God with some sharpness, nyanko pon se obema watum. He will give you the grace. Na wa hu mobo and he will have mercy on you. Na bere se mu no at the right time. O bere so se se o shira wa. When your time is up for him to bless you, to me shira o ke se. He will bless you. Amen. Amen. And na bon sam so buta e ne se. And this is what the devil has as a purpose for you. Okay, John chapter ten, verse yep. ten. Jesus or the Satan to was it Satan so the enemy say, "On all men he punches you." So Oba Oba be real enipa. We real who? No, the boni has so mu. I'm aware the boni. We real no we come no we sell. The book of John chapter number ten, verse ten declares that as for Satan, he didn't come to do good. He only came to steal, to kill, to put bad things in you, and then after he's finished, he will destroy you. The Lord told Adam and his wife, if, if you eat this fruit, and you don't obey the words that I'm declaring to you, you will surely die. So by the disobedience of what Adam and Eve did by eating that fruit, that brought death. Otherwise, we human beings would never have died. And to say time, or the aswade home home, and the baby we are born, and the man or who can woman in our any look. So Satan came to steal the woman with the spirit of disobedience. That's why he was able to bring death unto them, and both of them died. And the Satan or Makwa, so Satan doesn't come anyhow. But no swap and grow for be more. He's also found some people who are very light. Oh, they are able to gossip. They are able to steal. What the Bonia who do be brave. He's put in them many kinds of evil. But see, a boy, no, they will come. He's been able to put some frustration. No, they are quite the young and young. Kunipa to fight against his fellow human being. Send your Satan, you might see Unipa. These are the works of Satan in the midst of human beings. And to whom to me in Cassie Nippon to me, Mohammed. So you just cannot say that human beings cannot help. Nippa be to my day, human being. What can he do for me? Even God needs human beings to help him. Before as a barren woman, before you can have a child or before God can work on you. God himself needs a man of God that he speaks in him. The spirit that he possesses so that he can he can deliver you from that spirit of barrenness and give you a baby. When you are working for any person God works through human beings to help his fellow human beings. Where are you going to find God? So that he's coming to pray for you so that you deliver so, a baby. So that, that God is going to pray personally for you. That you receive everything that your heart desire is. Where are you going to find God to do it personally? It is through pastors or men of God that God works to deliver us and blesses us. Amen. 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 Amen.
Every busumi imu nina ni yesu ya saa ni ya mawe nina. So for a whole month we've been studying this very topic. Ene ne mabu busubi imu achira ume pese uhu ansa no. Today I'm also reviewing it to you. I want you to have answers to what I'm teaching you. Ene masa abu busu achira ume. I have come to review it to you again. Me pese ume nyanku po uhu sa asamu neti umu. I want you to let God know that the word dwells richly in you. And so, how do you understand things concerning human beings? And the way they work? What understanding have you had? We need about four people to also share with us their minds. This is what I have said. It I have learned that God can use human beings to help his fellow human being, and Satan can also use human beings to destroy his fellow human being. God bless you. God bless you. And at the OTS, yes, Ube to me, I can first. So I win a woman, so Ube to me, I can. Who else? You can also explain to us what you understood, or you can also ask a question. Ma, Medini, a question. Words of wisdom. Come and listen to wisdom words. It will really help you. Ma, Nia, Mima, me question is a Usa Wanya or Dobi. Ama nipa. Si sasa na inchiro sa mwana kachira ya yi. Se ena mnipa so na nipa ya yi. Na se wun jina inchiro sa mwana so. Nwa buwa wu yonko. Na se wu yonko nwe wwa. Eno so no uye ne deni. Nyami shira. Nyami shira. Yebe yi wano later. Why? Mommy this is my question. It's like you've had great love for a certain human being. And you have been able to help that person in the best way that you can. But the person has been very ungrateful to you. What can you do? Words of wisdom. Mommy, Amen. God bless you so much. The woman that gave birth to you, may the Lord bless her. Amen. Amen. Mommy, this topic, yeah, but my my dream, I'm going to be able to say. Sometimes, I know you blame me, baby. I'm too young for. But I want to change that man who say, "You know what I see? You you're not going to be perfect." It's an avengers is the Lord. Na se se matia si yon so se Boni ibi ya wobi si ne bo Edi ye ni nu ya no E nyane pe Sa wobi ye ni nu ya boni Ne wom a hon hon mwani E ne bo wure ni mo Na wadi titi ni pa I want to say that What is happening right now I have noticed that It's not everything that a human being does That is from the person himself I have noticed that At times The evil spirit or demons Are able to possess people To also do Evil against his fellow human being. Me ni na suwa ni se. Me ni nkwa lebi etina se kanse mbi. Abranti ebi oni obebi etina se mfiye du mi yonu. And a disappointment to buy just because of tribal differences. One day we were there and we had some discussion with ourselves. We found out that a certain man who has been able to live with a lady for about 12 years. Because of tribal differences, something happened. Nyamen chadi ye wo piye ye na E se broken heart a chini Nto wako pe mwa tu bidi a chile ne heart Wako tina wano wako jijia Wabe e binsu wanonso Be eme binsu ate te na kuma sa ya Wanonso wako tina wako No wanonso wako pe koku wano The man was feeling broken hearted So he went out to find some malt to drink And when he went to that spot He also met another lady who who was also broken hearted, who has come out to find also a bottle of malt to drink. So they met. Mami, sang kasem wede nkia, ti sene wapche fufune hura ta ben kwe mu. Eti nkasem papa. Afe di enkro fwe miye no ke kai, wabano msa wabane jene koku na wako na bema ne wene nentu sa wase, ah, abaya nenti me wareno. So, when they met, 
it was like both of us we all have the same problem so as we have met something good should come out of it so the man decided to you know take special look at the lady while she was going mami abrante efre o be na jom kekan ya na fa ye nyame ncha de no afi o motena se abe three months ne nyin sen abem o motena se kan no anya ne ho ade no ne ne koda ne nyin sen abem oh okay they got together and finally both of them had in the period of 3 months they got pregnant enti and you want to know who decided this is an etera because not be man in your ready so be ye oba no ho ade in terms of finances it is an etera there on be court a register marriage no na owu a ebrepem no wa ye no ho ade so they decided to go to court and then have the court marital registration so that when the lady delivers they can do the wedding ceremony and kwala yi ti fe 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 awu ye e ma jesa asumdue wo wo montem a enya sem ketu akura afi ni ye hunu ya ne se bibia bebo gura be mai mu chese enye ma e koso no hwe a na etiti akwala kwala no nsu no onyini ye so that time no be 26 um the the, the the two couples or the couple lived for a period of time but during the time that they were living something happened the man changed all of a sudden but the young lady was about 26 years old eti na kwala ni ntimi mi tunu fu sade yan a wo ntimi afi mi siti be man down so a mi ntimi hu se be man pa bai wei en so so ni ese so wo ye ma wo ba no so enya challenging love no ntimi e ma when i sat them down found out the man loved the lady but he was not living up to his expectation and your husband me tin as say me ne be man on so e kasa na me hunu na adwen na me hunu kwa me fa so me tu oba no fo afa no me ne be man on so tin as ye ne ne kasa ye me hunu so wo do oba ne pa en so ne na se se wo ye se be ma e ma oba na koma to ne yam no mo tin as awarefo ko si mrepa bu mo aye ne ho ade no na e ni ho i found out that the man also loved the lady or the lady also loved the man but both of them were not living up to their expectation as married couples enti mi we asem no na foto am etimi ma abaiwa no ane se akosi ya wonum sa o ma me ne me ntimi nka won kwa bo nten en koto bi hu ntini e me ka kire wa ane se papa ne do na fampai bo etena ho ekosi semre papa beba na be ma na ye ho ade because wo pia e ha no oba ne timi dada na o se me kwa ma do rese ho e bia na o awe o kochi afa so ba bi e san san na girl no so ntimi ne a o komo no the girl was not able to stand the situation so he was like having his own way outside the marriage but i sat her down and advised her that you just cannot live that way you have to live by prayer and preserve your marriage until the man's heart turn back to you eti abanwa na sate so okukwa bontin abema no me hu se afia tete no na bema no so complaining ni oba no ye no e ma mi nya adwe mi se sa na tie dia ni ame ntwe oba no mra da de ho bishop ho eti ye de ne ba nya me bo fo ho e ma obey akwantre ma wo mu a even though se wonye ne ho ade but say say ye ka she nya me ni mo nyam se asumdwe amoy aba eti mitimi hu se boni bia wo bi kata na ni didi ne nyonko no e free ni pe na your self wo e na bo wura ni pe mu e me ni pa e ti me tete ni yonko ni pa e ti ma mi nya me nshira amen nya me nshira wo so anti doris so finally finally i was able to bring my daughter to angel obinim for him to give them a spiritual direction which has stabilized their marriage but even though they are not completely in they are married out you know customary right and everything is not yet done they are living peacefully so i have noticed that things that happen in people's lives many of them are not really from the human beings themselves but it's the works of the devil that causes all these things mommy thank you so much and god bless you why be you works of wisdom fawo hwe mi ye ma me pa cho nya me hwe o me wo question bi a me pese me bi sa o ma me me question ni se nipa ebi wo ho nipa to me bua mo ba ko su a oba obetumi ase o nti me question ni se wo be ye den e 
who say nipa or buy or ye nipa papa our be boa when I see the old bano or barbe sale. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mr. We did the may I'm the general one it's ye and noon tina trust them on the say one moment in free sabo one moment in the hall and maybe you see a baby say answer na bako fe ni pebi kwa nena beti nana wuse rade answer wun chusu ni papa pana yeka wansi mdi minye dayi emma wun ene ye ye program bi ye friend marriage material se ya warie ene okwa kwa warie wuse nyanku pon se rade mame bema osuro erade erade mame waba osuro erade ye mkwati nyanku pon ye bibi ya so kuti nyanku pon wunti minye she ansana e ni pebi e be kambum aye bibi no hunse nyanku pon fere so ansa hunse e fri nyanku pon ansa ma wani na ho inti na chro sam ni se ye ma ye ni na ho na ye tamfo bo nsam ni nam se jate bo pom se o pedi obenya na mene no ono na mumfa gidi enyi na opinti nya dai nsi ni kwan no be twane inti wudi wani da ho ene be ye ejuma wasase so nye o fitin wan okofo obi adam for chem o fitin wan okofo wari obi chem obi hwie wani monya mu nyina agu obi so adi awreho ama wabra bo nyina be kwesi obi pim wiase ni se de bia wari na o makɔ pim no a feina ye ye nkyerekyere ni aye ni ye no se ke yehu san kyerekyere ya ke yemfa ye ye to mi nkɔ wari da amen Mommy, my this is my question. I want to ask as human beings, some of them come to do good to you, and others also come to do bad in your life. How can you identify the good ones and the bad ones? And mommy is answering our sister that this is the reason why the word of God says that be very wise as a serpent. You just cannot have your own way of doing things in everything you need to seek the face of god pray and ask directions as to how you'll be able to handle your life in the direction the spirit of god will lead you we've also studied a lot about how we need to connect our lives to the spirit of god for the directions the lord will give us this is what many people have done by having their own way and so they are facing lots of troubles in their marriages if they had first sought the face of God and asked for the directions as to which step to take and which not to take, they wouldn't have faced the various kinds of problems they are facing in their marriages. Amen. 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 And I'm nipa soon I'll be a yin. And for one 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 day, no any kind way, you could choose the nipa. Ebi and I say any panel. Dear one, some of us will say any panivia. What you are someone I say? And nothing I'm a terrible say. And you could be an yurim. And you nipa be an yard in a whole bono. The old one called bono. Near Yanka or Bakoka, and you know me, my dear cow. Would you run and for me? Now, so many are concerned for me. Nipa, when some of them say, "I'm watching ten, 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 ten," I'm very, I'm very, very happy about your question. This is the reason why we have taken our time to teach you a lot about these things. And as I'm declaring to you, it's not every group that you go and then join. There are certain groups when you join, they will be having a lot of gossiping about you and then telling bad things about you are doing things to bring you down so everything that you do you need to seek the directions of god any group that you go to join you need to seek the directions of god these are some of the reasons why we keep teaching you more of ways of wisdom if you are going to a church if the Lord will bless you in that church, the enemies in your home, they know. Satan will enter into the people who are not good in that church. And they will come and befriend you. 
and they will fix in you their bad character so you will come to church for several years you can never receive the blessings from that man of God you know that certain people have stayed in certain churches for so many years yet they are like how they are it's not that the man of God is not highly anointed the, the power of God is in that church testimonies are going on in that church but you alone why so you will be in the church like that so you finally have to vacate if you go to church don't rush to have a friend in that church it's not every church that we enter also but it's human beings who do the church there are certain churches who have real contact with God that by, through, the, through the man of God can, can, God can use the man of God to solve your problems there are certain pastors if you go to them it is there that your problems are going to be magnified the, the character in that person can enter into you so if, are, so if you are learning about human beings I'm not telling you that run and then seek a friend right now I'm not telling you go and quickly connect yourself to any human being you don't know this is the reason why today we are doing this program and we are asking questions Human beings are very good. Some human beings too are very, very bad. So when Jesus came to this world, John chapter two, the book of John chapter two, verse twenty-three to twenty-four, verse number twenty-two to twenty-four. say? The word of God says, Jesus or Jesus was very careful about human beings. He did not depend on human beings. But but those who were supposed to help Jesus he was friends to them when his parents came to seek him they said Jesus your parents are seeking you he told the people that he was talking to that who is my father and who is my mother those who are sitting right here and are listening to me my disciples that I work with they are the ones who are and my father and for. my mother and my friends and, and my everything there are certain people we can use them for everything through that person that whatever the Lord has said about you will, will be fulfilled you cannot depend on all human beings because some of them can easily destroy your life their works are the works of Satan the word of God says that the liars and the father of all liars and is Satan that right from the beginning of the world he was a liar so Jesus said you Pharisees you are all liars if he says Satan, because Satan is your father. There is somebody who can be in the house of God, shining very well, but his father is Satan. He does the works of Satan. He is a backbiter. He can, he can do it so that he can never marry. Power is in friendship. Power is in friendship. Proverbs. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Chapter 17, verse 17. Chapter number 17, 17. Yeah, ready, Adam, for you. Let's see what a friend does. Mebusem. Etire dun son, ye yimu dun son. Adam, for do brain in emu. Na onya, wa wo no ma ahu ye here. Adam, for to me ben edi uremu. What power is in French? Odo. Odo home, say, oh no. What bring name? Love. That what bring love you in all your ways? Even, oh, no. even, even if in bad days he should and, love you. And nothing I yes to me be uji and kwa way bunny. The reason why Jesus came to die was able to die for us was in Samosua. On Frey and maybe my friend said, Yeah, and now he says that when we obey his words, he will not call us as children alone, he will call us as friends. To me, I do rather than for me say. 
The power that is in friendship is this. Is you are supposed to love you. Love you in everything. When we say always, good days, bad days, you should love you. And I'm asking you, nowadays friendship that is going on, is this love spirit in that friendship the power that is in friendship before I will call you my friend then you surely have to have this spirit of love that friend what am I using it for this person knows very well that when you started church services or church you have changed your friend can tell you a lot that stop going to that church you to you listen to her advice or his advice and stop. Know, man, you know, then you see that everything that you were receiving is now coming down it's the witches in your family who have entered through your friend me, to me, advise you bad me, me, father, father, so. so me when i'm taking a friend i take a friend who will help me for my marriage to be more sweet no, that, that he will help me that the work that i'm doing can be uplifted. the one can, who can help me to go to heaven that is the person I will friend with so me I have some people with me the day that they will stop friendship with me I will cry mama, mama, mama. when I separate with that friend it will hurt me very well hey so even when somebody is coming closer to your husband he will fight that person for you oh, but as for you your friend when you say you are going to buy something and come oh, you will quickly run to the bedroom and do something with your husband before you come he has finished job 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 <laughs> me I don't take friends like that there's spirit that God used to create a friend for you is that he should come and love you not that he should come and judge you he didn't advise him to come and judge you if you are doing bad, you will be able to advise you and then correct you. You can, you can have a good friend when you are having challenges in your marriage. He can pray for you very well and also even talk to your husband for you or advise him for you. So we need to be very careful about human beings. If somebody tells you that I want you to partner with me with some ma- amount of money, first of all, ask God. If you are relocating to any new house where people are or not, you have to ask God first before you move to that house if you are going to enter into a new job ask God before you go there all that I'm telling you is not that you cannot meet bad things there you can go and face troubles or challenges there but because you asked God and he took the initiative for you, God himself will solve everything that you face there for you. If you are able to go through these teachings that I'm teaching you and always remembering that this marriage was given to me through the angel of God by Jesus Christ himself and you are able to humble yourself and go through this marriage finally one day you will be very successful in this 
marriage. Truly, truly, the Lord God Almighty will help you to marry to a successful age. And all things will work together for you. And it will be good for you. Amen. Amen. And he has said, Oh, aha. It will win your son when it's here. Now, but to me, a dear tennis has nini partner. And you share nippy be on pound. Yamia yina mom. Set I bet my boy when my yawa did be a tiao. Because the nippon con in chain be a mood. So, through your own wisdom, you'll be able to live well with all human beings. But there are some people God Himself has given to you to live with. But that person can treat you badly at a certain time. And you will think that, oh, you will not go to that person again. But and it's and but it is God Himself who has worked through that person to do you or to treat you the way He has treated you in order to put you to test or give you an examination to do because any panel you pass ebi we nyame ni pen to nimse say tent me fe ni munti wa shut down o yes sir o sorry i was o kwa so no way me say maybe that person who is even doing you that evil thing or more treating you is a man or woman of god so you say that oh this person he goes to church but he is treating me this evil way eso ne nyakopon na ma say ta kwen so on fast any pen mu but that test might have come from God Himself through that person to you to see if you are firmly established in Him. It is when to me and yes, I'm saying pass here. So if you are not able to pass this very particular exam, you say that oh this is what the person is going to do to me i will not get closer to him you are failed. failed you are failed like god was coming to lift you up to the next level but you have failed so this is the reason why we first learned or studied about the love of god that the way god's love is that if somebody is doing evil to you still do good to that person don't be angry with that person don't do evil to replace evil this exam you didn't pass Amen. Amen. This is the ways, one of the ways of God. It is any pana. So this person that you are so angry with and you are talking anyhow against that person. God is not even angry with that person in a jiffy. So the very moment you begin to talk bad against that person, then God also become angry with you. Because God himself has not judged that person. You are judging that person. Serving God is wisdom and understanding. Words of wisdom. Come and listen to wisdom words. Mammy, Nipple, <laughs> I'm a four bands to say, Mekuma. Yan Nami and Sunny Yer Yapuan, so I echo baby to bear my name, Mammy's Cassette. Mean top me ba, yet to be any woman beside your main to be money, you're in a femba. Now, I owe money, you scarce a man in their choir, they be a cotto bow. Nasada mean Nimbia, Madame for never shame me more, or Jim Bonnie, Mammy said. Be you want me, Nicu. Sorry, me are not means for me. I swear them that make us say me papa woo ye me suit the wa as some way 
And then in the near Miss Dema, Miss Two weeks ni me could eat me call mammy ho last week and buy. But nipa me three months and me papa, me cast some papa who we know, me papa catch me say. I sent to me, I mean, you'll be our new pet and in a minimum in papa Jesus. And see, dear me, or see, I saw, and yes, you'll be a will be a so a wook runner, dear to me, me fire and can buy and baby, I didn't just see no. I do not make us a mecon, not for the barmy dime set. Mean jai and angel of binum bar, I mean, I am said jai. Mean jai. I said, me one year, man, can't you be as many me pet no, Miss Mammy, for your woman, no, or both one in the womb. Some make what make what was safe for me, Papa said. Umbra, said, mean bearman who said, What's in me pet that I said, Men will be me and Papa Samma and Kume. Yes, I need Panus to not do me so dear, and then Papa Samman and Papa Jesus on any Pacron is soon dear. No, both father will my bar me diano, and the mapa and my bar and the sooner my family for two as a dumb metal hen, Miss Hassu Quaqua as I diano, and the mapa and my hano. Me on, me on, what I mean, so my papa went in, mom. At it, me on. Me ano, me ano ai, me ano, me ano, bem So I was down for me boy. Pachai. Was down for. Pachai. Your friend. Hmm. So no one in the team say you're not free. You're not cool. Yentia mami esu esu nyina ne se. Ono no mmom ya re adamfo tumi na. Nyankopo odi wure ni pe bi mu no bi. Na ono mmom anya quality ni bi. The reason why our sister is crying is that she has the real love or the the true quality of friendship. But the friend that she is connected with is not having the same spirit of love. Eni pa bi se no. And lady like our sister, if you become a friend to her, even whatever she's eating, she will give it to you to eat. Na kume muni na se na down for no, awa we kura be shaye ye. She wishes that the friend's marriage becomes very successful. Name empo free mo na to rent them say atono no. Then along along the line, this thing has happened. She doesn't understand. Amen. Amen. Me nim sene nsubanti. I know her character very well. Me the way na osu na wa yesa no. But the way she's crying, e yesa na te. It means that's how it is. Se obi do. That's how they na come in and di wa di. No one dream one dream bone. With her whole heart and not think people will connect you. It doesn't like evil for you. Na di bone e tua ne kan. And you are paying her back evil. Ya ne ye ni pan kwaso nko nume drobi ngu. It's it's like she should even take some medicine and die. And that's what be pulled here, or she should curse you. Into way, any angel obini mo. And so in this, if it's not the angel obini, asama andon na nuswa okono. Like she would have gone to visit her dead father. Koko bona dam funi dia and curse that friend of hers. Oh, that friend, that curse will also happen in what that are, lady's life. What they are come here, they moon what they do or no. Any idea na onye na idea to us ni mi enu eno adi be su ama adi na yow. She will use that love spirit or the spirit of love that she has for you, and that wholeheartedness that she has used to love you. She will use that to curse you, and the curse will surely mature or materialize in your life. Let's wait here. Kitu ebu wenyi ngopo eniso. But this is such a little thing in the eyes of God. That is why you saw the angel in your dream. If you go, if you go to curse, it will surely happen to your friend. But But God will also have a problem with you because your exams. Because it's an examination. So you don't pass it. So do well to pass this very particular examination. They say, "Who are down for no moment? They are more bossy than you." Now your friend is more pitiful than you. The one who is the papa, or the one who is born, no. The one who is more bossy than you, or the papa. The one, if you treat good and the person pays you bad for it, is the person who needs to be well pitied. 
When mama and mama have the same medicine for treatment. First John chapter three, verse thirteen to fifteen. Yohani mama edi kain, eti mi ensa ni yimu du mi ensa kosi edu num. Eni anom, we ase tamwa, mama no nyama mwanwa. Si eni epa, se udo obi na watawa. Was it manenya with day? Manenya has some way one da. Listen very carefully. If you love somebody and that person hates you, don't be surprised. Yanko. Yet, dear, ye nim say a chow, ye tram my free or womb qua and quem. San nipa woo what da would it do nipa ye nipa do yeno. Yamia some semen can't just a woo. A dear back what they are when they say, what they are save woo, a free or womb to it in quem. You that person. Who have the spirit to do good to your brethren? God is telling me to tell you that He has used it as a channel to deliver you from death to life. Uh huh. To answer. If we say ye do enuyanom, a di enti na wafu uwo mko unkwe mo no. If we say ye do enuyanom, mu ni na mo ankebi. A di enti ena wachu uwo mko unkwe mo. Mu di enuyanom, enuyanom ma ya ubadi o. Do your papa, would you won't fee? Would they were dog? Eh, you were dog? Eh, you yum, eh, your papa, many peppy, and nothing or say, What chow womb a conquem? What has taken you out of death to life? It is because you love the brethren. That is why he says that that has delivered you from death to life. Dear, only don't not you a womb. What a dear, Tiani a park, quite, it's ye. Obiara or Tani Niani or Woody Four. Aha. Now Munim said down quarrel to now or Woody Four Bialemo. And Nippe be a little more thing. Who yan the papa or tower away your body? No, say any pan away a day. Well, you would differ. Any person who is a person who treats you bad for the good that you've done for her. And was a wicked person. And was it any pan or son? And quite down quite a day. He says that that person, there is no eternal life in the person. Na muni mse down current na odi for biaremu. Hmm. Ote. Obi awo yene papa odi wewu. Di pani chia wakano. Wasi down kwa njeda. Na muni mse. Anyone who pays you evil for good, that person can never have eternal life in himself. That person has cursed himself. When you pay beer, what done with the four? The bonnie chia woka or so our room when you move pa so person who could champion what done for no pa where you are coming and don't there are some cassia to summa with dear the war trust themselves any power you would do for now down for party a bin to any mood that any person who has become a medra and is in between you and your husband or your wife that person is not having eternal life that person is a wicked person who cannot have eternal life obi wa o be ni pa wonni mi ni pa wonni mo pa no de boni chia oka you might have a friend who is very close to you but he's paying you evil for the good you are doing to him trust them say any pano ye wudini that person is a medra and he's, he's having a short life let's go to the book of proverbs and see what he said there proverbs chapter 17 verse 13 proverbs chapter 17 verse 13 me busem etire edun son enyi yimu du mi ensa aha die ode boni she papa na emu no aha boni rin pa ni fie da what eh Ni pebi ya waya o papa. Waya o papa. Ni washe nyanko po kisi ye ni. E di bwane, e chia wakano. Wase di ye. Wahaw, empa se ni pani fi ye da. Wakwa kan abe kan ne ma. Asifu, asifu. E di wini se ni pe. Wane e mobo. Have you heard? Any person who pays you evil for the good you have done for him. Has taken upon himself a curse. That person, the word of God says that bad things or curses will never depart from his household. So he has gone to take these curses to be upon him and his generations forever. 
And you And you Why ye be friend So don't seek for your good from any man. The obey and the papa wa de boni betu ya wakano. The one that you do good and you pay you evil. Emu ano. The wa de boni betu ya wakano. The one who pays you evil. And fa nyia pamuto wonso. Don't accept it as a covenant upon you. That mean whenever I do good to people, they pay me back with evil. You say, oh, as for me, when I came to this world, that's how it is. This is how human beings treat me. So now, when you give something good to somebody, and that person is not a bad person, you allow that person to become a bad person. He will come and pay you evil for good. That every day you will be better. Don't look at that side. Because it is he who has placed on himself curses, not you. As for you, the good that you did, God owes you. That he will pay you good. Bible say, the word of God says, the one who have mercy upon the poor, the Lord will have mercy on him. Yes, you say. The Lord Jesus said, Whatever you sow, exactly what you will reap. If you have not planted evil, you will never reap evil. If you plant a good seed, you will harvest a good seed. And then, aha. Today, here is the end of our way.
Thank you.